raise their glasses to Margaret Schutte Lenardi and Stephen Joseph Lenardi. Right. That's right. Here, here. May you have a long and happy life Good. together. Shooting wedding, what more could we ask for? May all your pains be pleasures. Champagne. <laughs> Ready? You two have endured everything. Always be each other's best person. So I love you so much. Wish you the best. It's been a long road. We're finally here. So again, congratulations. Excited. Yeah. Love you. I want to wish you guys all the happiness in the world. My heart is beyond full for the both of you. Good? We're so proud of you and excited for your life together and can't wait to celebrate tomorrow. <laughs> Margaret knows I'll just start crying. So. Congratulations, Margaret and Steve. I love you guys so much and wishing you guys a lifetime of happiness and health. Love you. We wish you years and years of happiness and love. We love you. Congrats. Congratulations. We love you. <laughs> Adrian's in Paris. Congratulations, Margaret and Steve. You're two of the most beautiful, creative people that we know. And uh, you guys deserve nothing but happiness. We love you so much. We're we just can't wait to celebrate you guys all weekend. And we love you. Yeah, we so. love you. So I'm so excited. My best friend's getting married tomorrow. And we're going to see you at the wedding. I'll go see you at the wedding. <laughs> This must be the place Oh, I can't tell one from the other Did I find you or did you find me? There was a time before we were born If someone asked, this is where I'll be Where I'll be Oh, we drifted in We decided we were going to hang out. He was at school in Carthage. Did he tell you the story? I'll give it a He was at school in Carthage. When I wasn't going to Carthage, it's like an hour probably away from where she lived. <laughs> this has never happened to me in my life. And I told him, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, like, you know, come home, like, come home for the weekend, like, we'll hang out. Yeah, let's hang out, let's hang out. Trains and driving and pain in the ass. I totally just blew him off. Blows me off. No answer. Nothing. I just didn't answer the call. I mean, I was like, I couldn't even believe it. 
So I was like, I'm done with this this chick for sure. So the next time we hung out, he was hanging out with his friend and my best friend. Our best friends were both dating each other for a long time. We bumped into each other again. He didn't give me the time of day. And I was like, no. For about like 20 minutes. Then he gave me the time of day. <laughs> Pretty quickly I came around. We gathered together today to celebrate Margaret and Stephen and their love story. We have all loved in our lifetime, and today we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of our humanity. All of us here have our own love stories. Some are short, others long. Some are yet unwritten, while others are just getting to the good part. Margaret and Stephen, this is your good part. It's okay, I know nothing's wrong. To you, Stephen. To you, Margaret, take Stephen to be your wedded husband. To love, honor, and cherish. To have and to hold. Do you promise to stay with her for better or for worse? For richer or for poorer? In sickness and in health. All, all the days of your life. life. I, I do. do. going about your regular lives, each with your own stories and dreams, neither realizing what beautiful future was waiting just around the swing set. To hear yes get engaged at, at Kids Castle is incredible. I remember 11 years ago when Margaret first told me that she was hanging out with Steve like it was yesterday. Who would have thought back in second grade that you would have been my brother-in-law? Margaret comes along and you know, someone could be just as creative as Steve. And then it happened. Love showed up in its unpredictable way. Seeing you grow into the dude you are today uh, has been wild, even though it was like pretty suspenseful at times. <laughs> the past decade has taught us all a lot. You guys are seriously the most driven people I've ever met. Someone with those qualities doesn't really have to treat others with such kindness and respect, but you always go out of your way to do that. No matter what, you always present yourselves as strong individuals who are there to help others. And little by little, lines blurred and softened until there was just one story. This dude uh, <laughs> is, is beyond lucky to have you, even after all the nice stuff I just said about him. Steven, you are Margaret's lobster. You will always have been. See? He's her lobster. Uh, all the Lenardis are lucky to have you, Margaret. And um, you guys are going to be awesome. One love and one dream that comes true here today and tomorrow. May we have the rings. I think you guys are all familiar with the term, it takes a village. You all here are Margaret and Stephen's village. But from Stephen's standpoint, the mayor of the village was Laura Lenardi. Your thoughtful, loving efforts were key to getting Stephen here safely tonight. Christopher sacrificed a lot as Stephen drew a lot of our attention. Chris, those sacrifices didn't go unnoticed and were greatly appreciated. I love you, Chris Lenardi. I love you too, Jerry. We all love you. 
And I'm so glad that you have Adrian to share your life with right now. Madeline, Brett, John, Kelly, and Duane, you are smart, kind, creative, and compassionate people. You're just down home, nice people. Scott and Sharon Osmond. A few years ago, Scott made a decision about Stephen. Conventional wisdom would have gone the other way. He didn't. And for that, I'll be eternally grateful to him. He stuck with Stephen and left them in a position that was perfect for him. Actually, hang it perfect for him. I, 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 I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't pass it up. Hang it perfect commercial. Without that first decision, I'm not sure that Stephen and Margaret would be, would be here tonight. Also, thanks for that great weekend that you had us all out for. It was unbelievable. Mrs. Margaret Schutte Lunardi. Now the possibilities for you and Stephen are endless. You've been a part of our family and part of our hearts for many years. You're an exceptional woman with exceptional talents. And the person you are today is fabulous. I love you, and I'm proud to be your father-in-law. Stephen Joseph, the last in line. It's been an amazing ride. There's been some bad, but there's also been a lot of good. I wouldn't change a minute of it, and I know you wouldn't either. It has grown you into an amazing person, talented and creative beyond belief, caring and compassionate. If any of you guys have a flat tire or your car breaks down tonight, hope that Stevens, the next guy that comes by, because he'll stop. He can help and he will help. I love you and I'm proud to be your father. Your other half's feelings, your other half's happiness should be the absolute most important thing in your life because they are. You live by that one rule, everything else will fall into place. We really appreciate you guys coming. It's, uh, it's a big deal in helping to celebrate a very, very special day. We, uh, we're so proud of you two and what you've done. And I swore I wouldn't do that. And what you've accomplished. You're amazing people. But the best part is we're all family. Even if we're not blood, we're family. And family is everything. So thank you so much for being here and helping us start this new family. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Margaret, I give you this ring as a sign of my love. And with all that I have, I honor you and take you as my husband.
heart so very full. We are honored to pronounce you husband and wife. Stephen, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Lenardi. Woo!